And how do we deal with the evidence? Well, let me give you a simple illustration, okay? I'm going to ask you a question up here. You ready? How do they get the balls to roll uphill? I'm going to help you because I'm a nice guy. There's no magnets. There's no strings. There's no reverse photography. There's no air. That was a really good suggestion somebody gave me. You see, the first thing that I challenge, younger generation, you better question the question because, you see, I can ask you a question in such a way that you can't give a correct response. So what we need to do is look at that evidence and understand this. We live in a world that is training our children to look at the world from a very specific perspective. But now let's take that evidence and let's just twist it a little bit. And let's take a look at that evidence and let me ask you the question again. How do they get the balls to roll uphill? They don't. Parents, grandparents, we live in a world that is teaching our children to look at the world from a very specific perspective. All I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to take the exact same evidence that the world has, and I'm going to twist it, and we're going to look at it from a different perspective. We're going to look at it from this perspective, from the only one who's always been there, who knows everything, who told us what happened, and can we trust him? In the beginning, God created. What does he say? Well, let's start with the Word of God. God said, that needs to become the rallying cry of every Christian. God said what? In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Now, let's keep going. And it says this, God said, now, I don't want to run by that. Remember I told you that needs to become the rallying cry of every Christian? Do you know how many times that simple phrase is used in the Scripture? 46 times God said is used in the Scripture. Do you understand that the Bible doesn't claim to be a good book? It doesn't claim to be a spiritual book. It claims to be the Word of God. Over 3,800 times it claims to be the Word of God. By the way, of those 46, 28 times occur in Genesis. You think Genesis is important? Hey everybody, Carl Kirby here. Thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to see more content like this, check out one of these other videos. Also, make sure you subscribe to our channel and visit our website at rforh.com. Adios.